Our topic is PMIR. PMIR is nothing but personal management and industrial relations. Personal management and industrial relations. In short, but we used to say it as PMIR. PMIR defines FLIPO. Personal management as a planning, organizing, directing and controlling of the procurement, development, compensation, integration and maintenance of people for the purpose of contributing to the organization goals. Already we know that management means planning, organizing, directing, controlling. These are all the very important. Planning means a future ahead. What is happening? Already we discussed in the first unit about the planning, organizing, directing, controlling. Planning means future ahead. Organizing means organizing the plan structure. And the directing means employees we have to direct according to the situation. And controlling means what is wrong, what is correct. Each and everything we have to be analysis in a systematic manner that is called it as controlling. Of the procurement, how, how many employees we require, how many labor we require, how many workers we require. These kind of procurement is important and development means what kind of training facilities we have to be given to the workers. These are the important for the development. Compensation means according to their education, qualification and age, criteria, sex, each and everything we have to be considered and we are going to be compensated according to the situation basis. Integration means we have to do the different uh, aspect, canteen facility, human aspect basis we have to give. Maintenance means for the industry we have to give the preventive maintenance, breakdown maintenance, each and everything. Maintenance is compulsory to smooth the function flow in an effective manner. So the people for the purpose of contributing the organization good. Why these people here see? Personal management and industrial relations means the workers are sacrificing their each and everything to the organization goals. Say for example the goal of the organization is 10 crores of this year. Definitely the workers are going to be contribute their efforts. Isn't it right or not? So this is the flipo defines. There are three dimensions. One is personal aspect, welfare aspect, industrial relation aspect. First one is personal, recruitment, selection, placement, training, appraisal, compensation, productivity. You all know that for every organization, workers, humans are plays a major role. Isn't it right or not? So selecting of an employee is also important. Giving a sufficient training of the employee is also a very important task. Appraisal means awards, rewards, each and everything. Compensation means salary is the plays a basic role and important. And the productivity of the people have to be increased day by day. Next one is welfare aspect. Welfare means AC working environment. They have to be keep the safe zone and rest rooms, washrooms, each and everything. Amenities means different types of facilities they have to be given. Different types of benefits to the employees. Say for example coffee, tea. This kind of benefits they have to be given. That is called it as welfare. Industrial relation aspect. Industrial relation aspect is nothing but Dispute, settlements, grievances, discipline, collective bargaining. You all know that disputes means any kind of workers disputes should not be done. Lockdown, shutdown, this kind of should not be there. Maximum they have to be tried their level best. Next one is industrial relations. Industrial relations means it is used to cover such aspects of industrial life of trade unionism. Collective bargaining, workers participation in management, discipline in industrial disputes. Definitely if the industry has the big industry, a large scale industry, definitely the workers will get the, uh, the workers will get the disputes. So those kind of disputes should not be there because production will be low and at the same time we can't able to match the customer needs. So parties of the industrial relations means these many parties are involved in the industries. Employees, employers. Employee associations, employer associations, court tribunals, government. These many people are involved for the disputes. So every dispute they have to be clear and at last they have to be get the finalization. That's the reason industrial disputes plays a major role in the industrial relations. The benefits attract the staff, low absenteeism, increase the productivity, more delegation. PMIR plays a major role because workers will get the so many benefits. Say for example, Singareni, Singareni Colorilis. The employees will get the so many benefits, low absenteeism, they will get the more benefits, more amenities, working condition, quarters facilities. These kind of facilities if the government, 
if the industry people are giving to the employees means definitely they will get the low absenteeism this is the overall structure of personal management and industrial relation thank you